want, you can add those many tasks into this. And then whenever you're done with the task, you can just click on it to remove the task from the list. Okay. And likewise, you can create um, like at any number of times, right? So once you're done with all the um, items in the list, then again, you can add in more items and you can create another checklist. So likewise, you can use it whenever you want. Okay. Let's quickly see and understand how to create this checklist app, right? So firstly, we have to design it. We already know, right? So let's quickly start designing. First thing, let's give a background color. I'm just giving a blue color. Maybe this is a very dark blue. So let's click on custom to customize the color over here, right? So we can actually see how that color is going to turn up when you're using it. So I'm just going to take a lighter shade of blue. Okay, let's, I think this is, uh, this is okay. So then, and align horizontal, I would say center and align vertical center. Okay, now, so the next component would be, let's add a label component which shows the title, right? So let's change the font size or let's go to screen one and give big default text. Also, I would just like to change the font size of this to 30 of maybe 40. So um, let's give bond font bold, italic. Then let's change the font typeface to sans, not sans, serif. Cool. Now let's quickly change the title as checklist. Perfect, right? So next, uh, if you want, you can also change the color. I would change it to blue color. Nice. And next thing is we need another label. So I'm just dragging and dropping another one here. So on this, let's, um, let's give the text only. So enter your task below okay and then we'll be needing a text box so text box on the hint i would write type here hint means uh, here it will just show the hint to your user that what exactly he has to enter so that's that's what i'm just typing over here we can make font sizes 20 and later on, um, after adding a text box, we would be also needing a button to trigger the thing, right? So I'm just adding a button. And on this background color, we can change background color to blue. Text as um, add task, text color sign, cool. So shape rounded. Perfect. Okay. Next, next thing would be a list view component. So today you're going to learn about this new component, which we haven't used so far, which is list view. So list view is a component which would uh, show all the elements in the form of a list one below the other over here. Okay. So you can click to add or delete data from here. But now this will be empty list until and unless you add the any list item. So it's not going to have any list item in it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to change the background color to blue. Okay. So it's already a scrollable one. So it's okay. And text color shall be white. So let it be white. Or maybe you can also choose this sign okay that's it okay and then uh, one last component we will be needing is invisible component or a non-visible component which is inside storage okay which is tiny db so tiny db is a component which is like a database here right it's a small database 
which uh, stores app information, right? So that's why we are using TinyDB, okay? And that's a non-visible component, so it's not visible on the screen yet. It is um, it is functional, okay? So let's quickly go to blocks and start with the blocks. So what exactly we have to do while executing the app is you just have to enter some task here and then click on add, add task button to enter the task over here. When you click on the task, it would be removed. That just means that you have completed that task from the checklist. Okay, so let's click on blocks now. So now I would just like to initialize a variable here. So the variable would be task or yeah, task one. Task is better, right? And then, uh, so this task variable will be empty list, which we are creating. So let's go to list and create empty list. So list variable can store more than uh, one element in it, right? A usual or a common variable can only store one single value in it, but list variable can store more than one value in it, okay? So when button one is clicked, we would like to do something to add the task, right? So when button one is clicked, so when button one is clicked, we would just like to add the items into the list list view component, right? So to add items into list view, right? Before that, we will be adding it into the list so that we can show the complete list inside the list view, right? So to do that, we have to go to list as this is a list variable. So you have this call this add items to list. So we have to provide two parameters for this. We have to give list. We have to give the item which you want to add. Okay. So the list would be the task, global task. So get global task. I'm getting it from here. Okay. Or you can also get it from variables. So from here. So in this, it would show you global task, right? So anyhow, both are same. When you place, uh, when you place your cursor on this, you can uh, get the thing. You should not click on it. You should just hover over it to get this, okay? So now the list is added. What will be the item? So the item would actually come from the text box, right? So text box, text. So I'm just dragging this one. Let's choose text. So text box, text, okay? This is uh, how you add some item into the list, okay? Into the global task list. Now, so not only adding into the list is enough, we also have to store this inside TinyDB, which we are using, right? Only then we can use it whenever we would like to, right? So I'm just calling TinyDB store value to store the value. So for this, we need tag and value. So uh, usually TinyDB will store the values in the form of key value pairs or tag value pairs, you can say. So we have to give tag and we have to give value, okay? So tag, you can just give any tag, whichever you like. So I'm just saying task, okay? So and value would be get global task. So because uh, whatever is inside this list, that will be added into the tiny db right so that's why and not only adding into the tiny db is enough but also we have to show the element on the list view so let's click on list view let's get this any dark green component so instead of background color you would be choosing elements right so because we want to set list views elements right and the list views elements are inside global task so that's why i'm just getting that okay this is what happens when button one is clicked, right? Now, when you click on the component of list view, then it should be removed from the list, right? So let's do that. That means go to list view. So when list view after picking, that means when you pick the value inside the list view, then we should remove the item from the list first of all. So to remove the item, you have removed list item list index, okay? So you have to say from which list you have to remove the item and from which index. Index is nothing but the place, right? 
So list is global task, obviously. And index is um, list view, whatever is inside the list view, right? So list view selection index would be our index now. So in list view, you have a component called a selection index. So whatever you select, that index will be selected here and given here, okay? So removing from the list is not enough because we are using tinyDB also. So you have to remove it or update the value inside the tinyDB. So I'm just using store value again to store the list which is updated, right? So basically, inside the get global task, whatever is there, that should be stored. And whatever is the tag in that same tag, we have to update. So tags should not change. With the task itself, we are uh, actually accessing the complete list, okay? And then we also have to show the same updated list on the list view also. So set list view elements to global task, okay? And then, now when screen initializes, if you already have some elements in the list, it should automatically display those, right? So from screen one, when screen one initializes, right? So we have to set global task, so from where are we getting the values into this list? We are getting the values from tinyDB because inside tinyDB, we are storing everything, right? So the tag is task. Let's suppose if value tag is not found, then it should just create empty list instead of that, right? So that's why I'm just creating empty list, okay? Now all of this, whatever is inside the global task should be displayed on the list view also. So set list view elements to get global task okay so this is all on how to create a checklist app right so let's quickly execute it and check right so to execute this we will be needing connect and ai companion so like you all know you have to use a mit ai to companion to test it okay so if you're not creating this app definitely you can't test it, okay? So just create the app, okay? And then test it and do let me know if it is working properly or no, yeah. right? So for now, I will be testing it on my screen, okay? And this QR code which I'm generating here will not be valid when you are seeing the video, okay? So don't just try with this thing, right? So it will be expired and, and then, I'm just generating this for, for now to execute it. Like you can see, once the progress bar is done, so it will be showing the app on my screen. Wow, it looks so cool. It looks cool, very cool. So let's say um, I will be writing, taking notes. Taking notes is my first task. And my second task would be, let's say, um, So, what shall be the other one? Okay, coding. Coding is my second task. And third task is uh, video creation. So, I have added three tasks. And when I just click on taking notes, then it gets removed from the task. Wow, cool. So, that's what we wanted, right? And that's absolutely happening. But I actually have one concern here. Whatever you enter in the text box, right? It's not getting emptied. So you have to remove it manually and then click on add task. To avoid this problem, what I'm gonna do is, let's go to blocks. So you have when button one click. So before button one click, I mean, after showing the elements on the list view, we can actually remove whatever is inside the text box, right? So I'm just getting set text box, text as empty, okay? So if we do this, it will automatically empty the box, right? Whenever you click on the button, okay? Let's quickly check it out. So video creation or uh, editing, let's suppose editing. Yes, it is doing the thing. Now it is uh, pretty good because now I can type in how many ever things I want instead of just uh, removing the things, whatever I wrote. So it will automatically empty itself and I can add any number of tasks now quickly. Cool. 
so it's it's pretty cool i can add any number of tasks on this yes it's it's absolutely working fine i'm just quickly adding so many tasks into this so yeah like cool it's working fine and it also allows me to just scroll down and see what are the tasks which i have added and it also allows me to click on it and delete the thing once my task is done i can actually click on it to delete it right so what i'm going to do yeah i have uh, deleted all i have deleted all of them okay so again you can uh, add in and you can add uh, multiple tasks like this right so this is a very cool app i really like it it is absolutely working fine so just create this and do let me know how is your experience with the app right so yeah if you like it please do comment in the comment section below and do let me know about it and also you can just send me screenshots of your um, apps which you have created which you have designed right i would definitely love to see them okay so i will be meeting you all in the next session till then you know what you have to do keep watching my videos and um, please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel fox hub thank you so much for watching this video bye bye guys have a great day all